This is problem 16. Problem 16 states that a box with weight of 50 newtons rests on a horizontal surface. The person pulls horizontally on it with a force of 10 newtons and it does not move. To start it moving, a second person pulls vertically upward on the box. If the coefficient of static friction is 0.4, what is the smallest vertical force for the box to move? Okay, so let's draw the scenario out. We have a box and it weighs 50 newtons. 50 newtons is equal to the, the force of gravity on it. You have somebody pulling 10 newtons, okay, but it doesn't move. You have a coefficient of static friction is equal to 0 0.4. And we have, then we have a second person pulling it up. And that is what we're looking for, to find how, how much force is needed to pull, be pulled up to be able to get this to move. So you have to conquer the frictional force. Okay? So what you have to do is set things up this way. You have frictional force is equal to mu naught s times f of x. Normal force, okay? Frictional force, normal force, coefficient of static friction, all right? So, frictional force is equal to 0 0.4 times, and we have 50 newtons being brought down minus the force that goes up, okay? So, to get it to move, we have to get this frictional force down to 10 newtons so that it can't so that this person moving it can't actually move it so that means that we can plug in 10 newtons is equal to 0 0.4 times 50 minus f up okay from this we divide everything by 0 0.4 and then then we solve for F up, okay? And it turns out that F up is going to be equal to 25 newtons. Once you get to this equation and you see that you have one equation and one variable, and that's the variable you're looking for, just do some ar ar arithmetic so that you can solve for that, solve for that variable.